Hey guys, Joe here. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys a few of our options we have available for torque wrenches. Um, now, when most people think of torque wrenches, they think of uh, high performance engine building. Now, while that remains true, that torque wrenches are essential in that manner, there's actually quite a few options around a vehicle where torque settings are equally as important to maintain safety and function. Two that come to mind are things like spark plugs or even the lug nuts on your vehicle. In front of me are four options that we currently offer, ranging in drive size and torque range. Now what they do share in common is each is encased in a carbon steel satin finish, as well as chrome steel internals. Each one of these comes in their own blow molded case with instruction manual, as well as certificate of calibration, so you know that they're gonna be accurate for what you're gonna use them for. So what I'm gonna do today is actually show you guys how to properly dial in the appropriate torque setting that you're looking for. And I'm gonna demonstrate on the lugs of the Fox body behind me. So let's dive in and check that out. All right, so first thing is first, in order to determine which wrench that you want to use, you have to know what torque settings you're aiming for. This particular car, uh, from what I looked up, it gave me a range of 85 to 100 foot-pounds for the lug nuts. So the wrench that will accommodate that is our half-inch drive torque wrench. Now, what I'm gonna do is, because it gave me a range, I'm gonna go for 90 foot-pounds, just for the sake of the demonstration, and show you guys how to dial it in using these. Now, one thing that's really a nice feature, all four of these uh, not only include either foot-pounds on these larger ones or inch-pounds on the smaller ones, but they also include Newton meters. Now, Newton meters, depending on your vehicle, um, I have a Triumph Bonneville motorcycle, that, for example, torque, torque spec settings are in Newton meters. So it's really nice, it can accommodate both. So what we're gonna do here is very simply show you how to dial in 90 foot-pounds. First thing I'm gonna show is the range of foot-pounds you can dial in and zero on the handle. Now at zero means it will line up perfectly with any increment of 10 hash mark along that shaft. So all you gotta do is disengage the collar, spin it until you approach the 90 hash mark and that lines up with zero. And that'll assure you're at 90 foot pounds. There we go. Locks in place and you're ready to torque down. So, Again, like I said, we're aiming for 90 foot-pounds right here. <laughs> so clearly you can hear it's clicking. It means it reached the 90 foot-pounds torque on that bolt and won't let you tighten it anymore. So that's a real quick and easy primer on how to use the four torque wrenches that we offer. Like I said, they're available in a variety of different drives as well as torque range settings. So to make sure that your ride's operating smoothly and safely, visit eastwood.com and pick yourself up a set today.